How's it going, folks? Welcome back to Travel Outdoors. My name is Joel, and today is the last Saturday of August. And here in Finland, that means two things. Number one, it is the Finnish Nature Day. So that alone is a pretty damn good reason to go outside. Okay. And number two, it is of course time for the annual overnighter or sleep outside challenge. So basically all Finns are encouraged to go outdoors or even just outside wherever it they can and spend the night outdoors. That's the plan for today. I'm here with my dog and roughly a gazillion of these guys. In Finnish we would call them Hirvi Kärpänen, so moose fly. But I guess the correct translation is something else. But we are basically just trying to find a good campsite for tonight. New area, so it's going to be a bit of a trial and error, but let's see. Hopefully we can find something sweet. Animals are pretty good at finding the path of least resistance, so right now I'm just letting my dog to lead the way and try to keep my eyes out. Looking for a good spot for us to camp. Okay. All right, here she is. My new tent. This will be the first overnighter we spent in this shelter. And right now it is sunny, plus 20 degrees, but it should start raining sometime during the night. And if the weather forecasts are correct, um, I guess we could call it even a storm. So a good waterproofness test for this tent. I hope it really does rain. My criteria for this spot was that I want it to be somewhere where it's relatively open so we can get even some airflow through these trees. There's not much of a wind at the moment, but a bit, so it does help. And the other thing was that, as you can see, ground is a bit lower down over there. And over here, it's a bit higher up, so again, should be a good thing if it starts raining that we are not, you know, on the lowest possible spot. And uh, also there is no depression or anything underneath the shelter. In fact, quite the opposite. There's a bit of a bump over there. That looks like a very comfy mattress for me. And there's plenty of space for Rokka and all our gear as well. Talking about Rokka, so my dog and my gear, as you could see, it's not over there but shelter because when I do find a spot that looks somewhat promising, I dump all my gear, tie the dog to a tree, and start walking in circles and trying to find what would be the most optimal place for the shelter. Uh, just you know, saves some energy. I don't have to do that with the backpack on and so forth.
even though we are out here celebrating the Finnish Nature Day, unlike I've done a few times in the past for this occasion, I didn't bring anything special to cook or, or anything like that. What we are going with is good old tactical food pack. In fact, <laughs> looks like we are having Mexican hot pot and beef, but let's make it a bit more Finnish with some kuivalihakundi beef jerky, garlic beef jerky to be exact. I think combining these two will make a quite nice meal for tonight. And of course we need a drink to go with that, which is, you guessed it, <laughs> leader performance sports drink. In a new packaging though, it says here that the Finnish Olympic team drinks this, so should be good enough for me as well. All right, Mexican hot pot and beef mixed with Finnish garlic beef jerky and some nuts. Let's go. Let's get a good beef jerky bite. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's actually a pretty good mix. The garlic really comes through and there seems to be quite nice seasoning in this Mexican style hot pot anyway. But of course we shouldn't underestimate the fact that everything tastes always so great when you're outdoors. I don't know why that is, but it is the universal truth. Mm. So much room for activities. Uh, not too shabby. And look what I found. This piece of rock will be my cooking surface for tomorrow morning. Because if it is raining like crazy in the morning, then I will of course much rather make the breakfast indoors, so to speak. So a solid surface for the stove is definitely needed because this is actually quite mushy and comfy place to lay down. Yep. It's coming eight o'clock now, roughly one hour to go, a bit less than that, before sunset. And the plan for tonight is to just sit here, enjoy this, and I have my small binos with me as well, in case there's some moose or deer action tonight. We'll see. Well, no wildlife action, kind of expected. Also, we were kind of poorly positioned for anything like that because of the wind was blowing to our backs, but it doesn't matter. So some geese. <laughs> I think we are just about all set. I've got my good old jacket pillow here. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but just Fold up your jacket, 
inside its own hood and you get pretty decent pillow. At least in my opinion, this is a lot better than one of those that you blow air into. I've always had terrible nights with those, but for some reason this works for me. <laughs> it will be interesting to see if we're getting any rain or not now during this night. What do you think? Will there be rain or will it be just like this and another fluke with a forecast? <laughs> Type your predictions in the comments below. <laughs> All right, but that's enough. I'll catch up with you all in the morning. Good morning. Hyvää huomenta. Good morning. Ogo moron. We are up. And it's time for some breakfast. Or actually, Rokka is already having his. And I'm just setting up the shop still, filling the pot with some water and let's get the kettle going on over the rock. Get some coffee up in here. Sometimes the rain comes down harder, sometimes lighter, but it's definitely always there. Has been for quite a few hours already. This is actually quite a comfy setup I have here. Having this extra space from the poncho that keep me off the ground. It's nice. Although, as you know, I don't mind floorless shelters at all. One of the main reasons being, of course, the dog. No point having a floor for him. Especially since this ground isn't soaking wet. It's a bit damp because of the moss and things like that. So, not a big deal. And really, it is a palace for one, for sure. I can totally see two guys and a dog with all their gear inside of this. And uh, yeah, this should transform also with the big inner tent or full nest, as Sick Outside calls it, to a nice family tent as well. Now you might be wondering, but isn't it still quite dumb for me to carry the shelter of this size when I'm mostly traveling or hiking alone with the dog? But not really. This canopy weighs with the stakes and so forth the same as my tarp. And obviously it does provide a lot more secure shelter. So, well, I still do love my tarp. This does have its benefits for sure. Got my morning oatmeal, so as usual, oats and protein powder coffee and during the Finnish nature day and the overnighter challenge I guess people are encouraged to make a traditional Finnish bilberry pie. This is a sweet pie and bilberries are kind of blueberries but better. <laughs> and I've done that with a Trangia kit a couple of years ago this time not doing it, but I do have quite a good amount of lingonberries, which are definitely on season, and some bilberries as well, which are getting a bit late in the season, so not so great anymore. But anyway, I have a bunch of those to go with porridge. Some hot water should be very nice and very healthy breakfast. It's so dark that I will have to set up the lantern again. 
there we go. Also, I just heard the first rumblings of a thunderstorm, so unexpected, but pretty cool. No wonder it got so dark. And as you can probably also hear, the rain has intensified, so let's hope my coffee turned out to be as strong as the rain. Yep, definitely thunder. Ooh, that's a long one. For those of you wondering how the dog is also so calm, it all comes down to you, people around the dog, so stay calm yourself. The dogs feed off on your wives. If you don't care, they don't care. All right, the thunderstorms have passed. Still raining, as you guys can hear. Mm -hmm. We can't stay here forever, so. Poncho on, I've got my gators on. Probably, once again, rain pants would have been better, but it is what it is. And I've got my Northern Light rain mittens on as well. No gloves underneath, just the mittens themselves. Because I want to test how well I can actually function to take down the shelter with this. This is of course great when hiking, or if you're just squeezing a hiking pole or something like that, but we'll see how it performs while pulling out stakes and, you know, putting things in the backpack and whatnot. in the backpack. Oh. One good thing about this tent or maybe the fabric material itself is that you don't have to be too fussy about how you fold it and putting it inside the Stuff sack. It traps quite a bit of air, as you can see, but it's not difficult to squeeze it out and then just throw everything inside the stuff sack. And there you go. It does make it easier when the stuff sack itself is properly sized as well. Mission accomplished. I figured it makes most sense to pile these rocks in one place on top of this little bump over here. It's not exactly the same thing as leave no trace, 
but I think it's still better than having them, you know, left all around the campsite. Thanks a lot again for joining us on this little trip. My name is Joel. And that's Rokka. You've been watching Taival Outdoors and we will see you all in the next one.